SA Sports Show. I love my soccer. So do I. More importantly, I love Adelaide City. Yeah. Black and white. Yeah. Because yeah, I love the old right. days. Get them, in, so. the, get them in the national comp. Get them in there. Get them in there. Well, they used to be. And, and oh, of course, you remember the, the derbies with uh, oh, I do. Uh, West Adelaide. West Adelaide. Oh, well, that was fantastic. It, but we, we've be got a very now. special guest, uh, their, their midfielder, Nicholas Bocco. Welcome. Thanks, Rick. Thank well, you. Well, the club's just gone from strength to strength, hasn't it? You had, you know, of the other week, you've won the SA Federation Cup. Yep. You're in the, the, round of the, the final round of 16 for the Australian Cup. Things are going well. Yeah, they have been. Um, we've had a good year so far. Uh, winning the Cup, obviously we set out... To, uh, yeah. yeah, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's what I was about to say. Yeah. We set out achievements or object objectives before the season. Pez uh, instills them in us that we have to win everything. So mm, yeah. uh, we're two games left of the season, so we're trying to win the minor premiership as well. Tick. So if we can tick that one, <laughs> yeah. then we have to tick the championship to go back to back. So I was going to ask you guys about the, uh, the minor premiership and the yep. finals and all that sort of thing. Because in the UK and, and yeah. worldwide, it is yeah. you finish top, you're top. Exactly. That's it. Right. There ain't no yeah. finals. Do you prefer to play finals or? Is it, is it a hollow feeling now winning the mm. minor premiership? It's funny, you, that. Yeah. it's funny you mention that because we have this conversation a lot. So obviously in Europe, when you're playing for top spot, you win the championship, you're mm. the champion because you play 38 games. But also other teams below that are fighting for you know, European competition. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you finish mid-table, the higher you finish, the more money you get. Yeah. In Australia, we're only playing, we don't have European spots or whatever. So yeah. Yeah. at the end of the day... At the moment, it's a three-horse race for top spot. The rest yeah. are playing for a final spot, which is important because it keeps it interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think it's important that we have a playoff-type system in Australia because there's nothing to play for otherwise. So, yeah. But I'm a traditionalist. I love the fact that after 38 games, if you're champion, you deserve to be there. You know what I mean? But yeah. at the end of the day, we don't have that here. So I think it's vitally important to have a playoff. I think on the flip side of that, though, if you do play... Your th how many games do you play? You, you we play, play 20 20 now? 22. 22. 22. You've got 22 yeah. games? Yeah. If you did play 38, or yep. say 22 games, we'll, we'll, we'll use that, and you were 12 points up with three games, who cares? That's right. That's that's what I look at. And exactly. Think, well, do you try or do you? I think you've already won it. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know it's more I mean? about breaking records, isn't it? As well, yeah. in that sense, like I know Man City, a couple of years ago they reached 101 points, and that's that right. and they scored a late goal to do it, and Pep Guardiola was going berserk. So yeah. everyone has motivation. You know what I mean? Winners yep. want to win, and yeah. it's just a mindset. Yeah. Because yeah. I've been on the other end a couple of times when after a grand final we've lost. I mm. think, geez, I wish we've done it the European way because we finished on top of it. <laughs> it's funny you say that. That happened to me two yeah. years in a row. And we lost three. <laughs> <laughs> finals in a row, so exactly. 100%. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And one of the one of the game, one of the finals we lost to a team that finished uh, fifteen points behind us or something. Mm, so it just, that's that's the beauty of finals football, as we it say. It is, though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it keeps it interesting. And yeah. Nicholas, have you, you've done a little bit of European football yourself. If, you know, yeah. you've, you've, you've gone abroad and, and yeah. tested yeah. the talent. How, how was that? That would have been great. Yes, yeah, I had a, a couple of trials um, in the UK uh, yeah. seven years ago. And the quality was unbelievable. The facilities were fantastic. Um, obviously, uh, depending what level you're going at, mm. the money can dif differ. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, your high, higher end, top tier, the money's ridiculous. When you go into a lower tier, it's almost like a dog-eat-dog -dog world. So, yeah. we're actually quite lucky here that we have decent money available for the level. Yeah. So, it encourages people to stay and try and push for an A-League spot. Yeah. Mm. So, how but, does that happen for you, mate? Sorry, mate. Yeah. How does that... Uh, a trial with a club yep. in Europe? How does that all... Pan out for you. Yeah, I mean, so in South Australia, we have a fair few agents that uh, okay. have contacts overseas and in Asia and all that. So the yeah. football world, even though it's so large, it's actually Huge. quite small in the sense of uh, people knowing each other and networking and that sort okay. of stuff. So it can happen quite easily, especially nowadays with technology, videos, yeah. Yeah. Um, and obviously with COVID now, a lot of uh, South Australian, uh, sorry, Australian clubs are looking to save money in the mm. sense of wages. So I feel like it's there are more opportunities for South Australian boys to go elsewhere and find a contract, whether it be in a professional or semi-professional environment. So an agent will come up to you and say, hey, mate, there's been a little bit of interest yeah. from Brentford in the whatever. Yeah, or, pretend, or you can uh, you have a meeting with an agent who sees you and says, listen, I want to take you on my books and we'll try and fend you out to another club. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What Good. about our yeah. facilities yeah. now? I mean, <laughs> you, you know, we talk about you know, Aussie rules, you know, sort of trying to capitulate, uh, you know, the, the facilities over, you know, in, in part, different parts of the yep. world and bring it back. Are you finding that Adelaide's really caught up in, in the facilities that are available now to... Uh, to the soccer world because uh, it's such yeah. a huge game. Yeah, 100%, Greg. I think uh, some clubs are because of obviously getting government handouts. We're finding that we can mm. start uh, modernising. Uh, our club, for example, needs a bit of a facelift. We haven't changed it for 20-odd years because mm. when we were in the NSL, we got it, um, not as a gift, but we, we found that it was empty and we took over it and it was really good at the time, <laughs> but things need, need changing. Do you mm. know what I mean? So, um, but 
there are a lot of other clubs that have new new um, facilities that are fantastic yeah. and I would say close to world class. Really? Like the Jeps Cross new facility for the yeah, Federation is amazing. That. Yeah, yeah. That is West brilliant. Adelaide building there yeah. is not finished. Martin Sports Complex, always fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there are a few others as well I can name. Yeah. <laughs> is there still that rivalry? Yeah. Adelaide City. West Adelaide? West Adelaide. Yeah, yeah they've been in the second division for three, this is their third year now. Yeah. But every time we play them, obviously, that rivalry is there. I feel like the, the rivalries for, for Adelaide City at the moment are more eastern suburbs rivalries with your Blue Eagles, Camelot okay, yeah. and Metro, and even okay. even our Comets after we've met them a lot in yeah. in the later stages of the season. Okay. Do you know you're playing in your, the, your round of that final 16 as yet? We find out tomorrow night. Right, OK. Yeah. So yeah. all the games finish tomorrow night, uh, yeah. and then the draw straight after. And yeah. then all your A-League clubs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so right, we can all. potentially play LA United or Modbury, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's all random now, so there's no allocations of pots or anything Will you like play that. in Adelaide, or you'll more likely play uh, in a state? It just depends. It so really any, that depends yeah, as well. So if you get drawn an A-League team, it must be played here. Yeah. We're the home team. If but obviously any other NPL side, it can be it's whoever comes out first. Wow. What would you rather do? Yeah. Who, you right, so, Who do you want? <sighs> that road trip. Oh, hey. <laughs> we've had five games at LA City in the National Cup and we've only travelled once. Yeah. So I'm always one that I'd love to get away. Yeah. But if we were to play in Adelaide United, how can you say no to that? No, um, yeah, we'll have yeah. 3,000, 4,000 people. Yeah. The interest will be massive. And we've got ex-players there as well, so it'd be fantastic to meet them. But if, but if you draw Adelaide United, yep. you play at home. Correct. We're the home right? team, yes. You're the home team? Yeah. Bingo. I love it. Oh, isn't that fantastic? <laughs> yeah. And that draws tomorrow night. Yes. That, is that, that's a televised draw, isn't it? Correct, yeah, yeah on 10 play. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, at one stage, we had four local teams in the uh, in the Australian Cup, you know, going along quite nicely. And, and of course, yourselves and Modbury are, are still mm. hanging in there, which is fantastic. So, I mean, soccer in South Australia is just, just you know, it has the been for a long update. time. Yeah. And yeah. it's going to continue like yes, that, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. And you, your draw is not too bad now, too. You've got uh, South Adelaide yep. and uh, who you got? Adelaide, uh, Olympic. Adelaide Olympic. Yep, yep. Not too bad, the last couple of games. So, you should be favourites to. Probably win the Monarch exactly. It's in Although our hands. I shouldn't say that. No, no, it's in our hands, and yeah. that's how we want it. We want you. You got yeah. to. It's better to rely on yourselves than other people, yeah. of course. So yeah. we've been top all year. We want yeah. to finish the job off. Yeah. You sound like you're really enjoying it. You know, like yeah. you know, it's, it's, that's just well, we ticked all these boxes. <laughs> but you personally, obviously, a wonderful year. Yeah. You know, it's uh, you having fun. One hundred percent. Like yeah. Pe you, Pez couldn't make it today, but he's one of the best coaches I've ever had, and he's yeah. only he's only been coaching seven years, okay. and he's relatively new to it all. Like I played with him for a little bit. Yeah, he's just brilliant. Uh, and Are you talking Paul? Yeah. Paul Pezos. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and how do you find that him being a teammate now? Now you coach, oh, you settled pretty well. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Like he demands respect, and you know we're business, we're friends on the side, business on, on the park. Yeah, of course. And we're going to set examples and and yeah. lead Adelaide City to where we want it to be. Oh. And just let him know that he owes us 100 for not coming in. Yeah. Done. <laughs> yeah. He'll pay it straight away. Don't worry. Good luck. Thanks very much for, for yeah. coming in. And good luck. And you know, you've know uh, you just had a wonderful, wonderful year and, and uh, in the black and white. So we'll get you back, mate. Guys, Fantastic. Thank you for having me back again. I remember last year, we, Pez and I came in because we won the championship. So please, yeah. Uh, yeah. good omen would be if I, we come exactly. back together right after another championship. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get okay. you back. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. We're back good after the break. You,